The order of operations remains the same when we have signed numbers. In example 82.1, we have some multiplication that has to happen first. So we do all of that and we get negative 8 minus 3 minus 18 and an answer of negative 29. In example 81.2, we have an expression to evaluate. First, we're going to make our buckets, and then we're going to drop in the values for each variable into the bucket. After that, we multiply, and remember, when you have a negative in front of a variable, that's the same thing as negative 1 times that variable. So we drop in a negative 1 times the negative 2. <clears throat> that gives us a positive because we have a negative times a negative. Well, then we have the negative 2 times the negative 4. That gives us a positive 8. But we still have that negative in front of the positive. So negative times a positive gives us a negative 8. Positive 3 minus 8 equals negative 5. In example 81.3, we have another expression to evaluate. We make our buckets, and then we drop in our values, and then we go ahead and multiply. Seeing the negative in front of that first bucket, we drop in a 1. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. And then we have negative 3 times 2 gives us a negative 6, but we still have that minus sign in front of the negative 6, so we drop in our 1. Negative 1 times negative 6 is a positive 6. So negative 2 plus 6 equals 4. Let's review. We still follow our order of operations regardless of the signs. When we have a minus or a negative sign before a variable or product, we multiply by negative 1. As always, thanks for joining us at Jupiter Math. For more information about our math programs, contact learning at edugraphics.com.